Welcome to my channel, Australian Women's Life and Style. I am so excited to do this video with you guys today. This has been requested so many times. I think I've had probably a hundred requests of, can you please show me how you do your makeup? So, and can you please show me how you do your hair? <laughs> so today is the day. I am beyond excited that we have our first ever brand event today. I'm, I'm so grateful to Petal and Pup that I'm actually able to take my daughter with me and we are going to our first brand event, which is just incredible. We are so excited. So what I wanted to do today is do a get ready with me, a full get ready with me. So in today's video, I'm going to go through all my self-care tips before an event, everything that I do with my skin, my makeup, my hair, my outfit. And then I'm also going to take you along to the event. And then to top it all off, at the end, I've got a haul to show you all these most beautiful pieces with a discount code. <laughs> so I'm really, really excited to show you today's video. It's going to be a bit of a long one. So definitely get yourself a, sh a champagne or a nice cup of coffee or a nice wine or something. That's what I'd get. Get a champagne and join me on getting ready for our first event. I'm so excited I can take you with me as well. I'm going to share everything with you, all our feelings. We are really, really nervous and really, really excited. So if you want to see how I got this look and my outfits and also the haul and also the 20% off discount code, yes, your girl's got that for you. Hold on and watch this video. <laughs> If you like these styles of videos and love going shopping in Australian stores for all for Australian women, then, then please join my family and hit the subscribe button and the little bell notification so you get notified whenever I do a video and join my little family. Make sure if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and oh my goodness, I'm so excited and nervous. <laughs> um, you know, do all the things, subscribe, hit the like button, comment. Oh my gosh, I need to hear what your thoughts are. Everyone, please tell me which dress if you thought I went with the right dress I want to hear everything that you've got to say I'm really excited so let me take you on the inside scoop of our very very first brand event and I'm so excited I can take my family you guys along with me now if you don't follow me over on Instagram I would love you to follow me I am so close to 10,000 followers over on Instagram and if any of you enjoy my content I would love you to join me over there and please follow me because I will get to 10,000 I'm hoping I'll get to 10,000 before Christmas so I've got everything crossed <laughs> so if you don't follow me over there and you love what I do please consider doing that because it would really help me out and I'd love you to be a part of my family there I do reels every single day and I also post lots and lots of stuff on my stories also. Please consider following me over there. It's Australian Women's Life and Style. Okay, so I'm so excited to get ready with you guys. Um, this is me with no makeup on. All I've got on is, so I took off my, so I took off the face mask, which looks pretty scary. <laughs> Okay, so it's the morning of, I'm so excited, and <laughs> I know I look absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> So I've got a shower cap on my hair so I don't get it wet from the mask. I always do that because you know how always sometimes it all gets wet and because of the mask, the last thing you want is your hair getting wrecked because I washed it yesterday and then I did a treatment. Now I mixed the two treatments together. I did the Bondo Boost Miracle Hair Mask and I mixed it in with my Pro, my Fab Pro, which I get from my hairdresser. I take all the brassiness out of my hair. And I love those two together. And I leave it on for like an hour. And I've got the Ultra Suticals Ultra B Hydrating Mask, it is. So I've got that on. But it does wonders to your skin. My skin's really plump now. So I've left all the serum on. I didn't wash it off. And then on top of that, I've put on the Toucha Water Cream, which is this one here. And that's just fantastic. My skin just drinks it in. And I put on my Mecca Cosmetica sunscreen and i really like this one under makeup and you get that from mecca i will link all the products for you down below in the description box as well 
And then as a lip treatment, I put on the lanolin here that I get from the chemist. I'll link that for you down below as well. And that makes my lips nice and soft. And then I've also used Clear Eyes, the eye drops to clear my eyes so they're nice and clear. <laughs> I also yesterday did my eyelashes. I do do my own lash extensions. <laughs> I use the Ardell Double Individuals. And I do use the Ardell Lash Tile extension glue so this comes in the lash extension kit which unfortunately i don't have the packaging for but i'll put a little picture of it just here for you and this this glue will hold them on for about 10 days but if you don't want to do that you could just do these and use just your normal lash glue and individually put them on or just use a strip lash if you like <laughs> so this is my skin with no makeup on not one stitch of makeup now you can see the remnants of my melasma which is pigmentation on my skin i also do have some scarring as well from acne because i did have really bad acne in my teens and then i also had it really bad after each child um post uh, postpartum i had it really badly as well now i am a professional makeup artist so before i had children for a good 15 years I did makeup for film, television, and for photography. I did lots, I did a TV show that was on Channel 9. I used to work in that field for a very long time. If, um, if you'd like to see a bit more about my story, I will put a link here to my video of about me. So I'll put that here for you. And so I did work in this industry for a very long time. I'm just going to show you how I do my makeup. I think it's very wearable and I do think that you guys can do it at home um, and feel really put together. So I do do a bit of a mix with my foundation. On day to day, I just use a basic foundation and that's it. But for an event, I do like to... I do have a specific little cocktail that I make and you know it's probably the makeup artistry in me <laughs> but that this is what I do so I'm going to tell you exactly how I do it now you can just do this with your foundation that you do at, that you use at home but I'll show you what I do okay so to create this look I'm going to mix two foundations together I love my power fabric from Armani it's a long wear high cover foundation and it's more of a matte foundation and I find that this lasts a really long time. This is a professional makeup artistry brand, RCMA, and I do, I love this foundation. It just makes, it's a little bit more, it's more luminous than this one, but it's the coverage that I love as well. So I mix these two together. For me, they just make the perfect little cocktail. Both of these foundations are incredible on their own as well. I actually use my fingers to apply my foundation. I really use my finger and I use it to rub it in. <laughs> I know this sounds crazy and it is quite an unusual technique. I don't use a primer. Now, as you can see, I don't put it up under my eyes because I will just, because I will use concealer there. And I just take it up to there, not right into my hairline because the beauty blend, my, my beauty sponge will do that for me in a moment. I know I look crazy, but you just have to trust the process. <laughs> then I've got my wet beauty sponge. I use this one from, I get these ones from Kmart. And I really like this one. If you can see that it's got the flat edge there and I really like these. So basically now, even though my foundation's on quite thick, I will now sort of push it in and I just... This will sort of bring it up under my eyes, but very thinly because I don't want to have, I don't want to have lots of foundation under my eyes and lots of thick concealer because I've got wrinkles under my eyes and it will all go into them as, as the day goes on. So I just want a really fine, but I really want just a fine film of foundation and concealer under my eyes. Now I do put it over my lips or just the remnants over my lips and I'll just sort of bring... Again, same with my eyelids. I don't put a really thick amount on my eyelids because I don't want it to all go all creasy. So we just do a nice thin layer and I bring it around to my hairline and I just push it in and I've brought the foundation right down my neck and onto my chest as well. Now that's given me some really good coverage already. So now what I want to do is I'm going to do my contour. I use the Bobbi Brown Foundation Stick in Chestnut. And what I do is I only bring my contour to about here, sort of in line with your eyebrow in the middle of your cheek. You don't want to bring it right down here because basically what that will do is drag your face down. And I'm all about lift, 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 <laughs> especially when you're over 40. And you don't, and I also want it to be quite natural. I don't want it to look really, um, I just don't want it to look too harsh. 
I will also, as you can see, I don't have I don't have the strongest jawline either, especially here. It's just especially here, it's just in my family. So what I like to do is just a very little line about there and I do do it. You don't want to do it too low or too high. I just sort of do it just above. See that little shadow there? That's where I want to place it. I've got quite a long thin nose so you need to contour your nose to suit your nose you don't want to be doing what everyone does if it doesn't suit your nose because then it won't look great so i just do a very light shadow under my nose and it just lifts the tip up for me <laughs> i take my real techniques buffing brush which is just like a little dome brush and i buff it in so and as you can see, it gives you an instant jawline. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Just sort of make sure that it is well blended. You don't want to have it looking too crazy or a really thick line or look making or looking like your foundation just looks all messy. So you don't want to do that. Then here I just start buffing it. And I don't want to bring this line down here. Okay, so you just want to keep it about there. And I will add powder, so I just want to do that softly. And I just sort of do that on the end of my nose as well. Just so I don't look too crazy, I might just put my eyebrows on and some lips on. Just so <laughs> I probably wouldn't normally, but just because for you guys and you can look at me. <laughs> so, with, so with my lip pencil, I use MAC Saw and I love this colour for me. It's the perfect sort of pinky nude lip colour and I love that one. Another really good one is also Spice if you like more of a brown, but I'm going with the pink today. So with so with my lips, I do like to overline the top of my lips and just underneath and then the rest I bring it in the same as my natural lip line. Just so it does give my lips that look of being fuller um, when they're not. So, and just... And when I say overlay, just a tiny bit. You just want to enhance your natural beauty. Let's just add in a little bit of brows as well. I just do a straight line underneath. Now in the 90s, of course, like most of us, I plucked all my eyebrows out and I had really thick sort of Brooke Shields eyebrows and it was not in fashion at all. In the 80s, I was in fashion, but by the time the 90s came, I was well out of fashion. Don't never ever go with the fashion trends, ever. <laughs> Big lesson learned. But I just basically fill in then just naturally because I want to look good in person, but I also want to look good in photos as well. And that's just my aim. What I'm using is the Anastasia Brow Wiz and I use this in soft brown. And that just gives me my eyebrows back. Now, when it comes to eyebrows, they are sisters, not twins. So don't stress if they're not exactly the same. You try your best to make them as the similar as possible, but don't stress about it. <laughs> okay, so now that I've got my skin to this point, what I do is I want to curl my hair. I want to have my hair curled today. I wanted to have time to set before we go. So what I'm going to do is curl that now and then I can let it sit crazy curly okay so for my hair i've just curled the bottom layer and then with this next layer here i just get small sections because i do want it to be quite curly so when i brush it out it will just have the perfect fullness because my hair does drop quite quickly as you can see my hair is dead straight so i curl it like curling ribbon just like that and i'll let it sit it back to cool now I do away from my face, so with a section about this big I like to curl forward so it sits close around my jaw area and then everything else goes backwards. Like I said I go and I go forward. Now, when you're going to an event, I always think that you should do what you naturally look like or what your fa your favourite way to do your hair or the favourite way to do your makeup. Don't do anything too crazy or too different. Like, don't part your hair on the other side that you've never done before <laughs> because you don't want to freak yourself out on the day when it's a special day, especially if it's like your wedding or you're having a big party, it's your birthday. Don't do something completely different to what you normally look like because that tends to freak you out a little bit when it doesn't go the way you want it or when you look back on photos and you're like, geez, I wish I didn't 
put my hair on that side if that makes sense so today I'm going to do a center part which is what I always do I think it's the most flattering for my face shape I like to lift the roots with my curling iron and then I'm going to curl it backwards just like that and it'll give a little bit of lift at the root if your hair does not hold I recommend what you can do so I lift it at the root like this and curl it backwards now if you wanted to you could sort of curl up the curl and pin it to the top of your head or use a roller like I'm going to show you but I don't tend to do that just because it works this works for me this is my technique so what I want to do with the fr very front part of my fringe, so you can see I've sort of sectioned it like this. I've combed it forward. Now what I do is, again, I get my curling iron. Now, now you can just get a hot roller and roll it back, but this is my little cheats way of doing this. So I get my curling iron and I really lift it up. And as I'm pulling it up, I also like to sort of bring it forward like this. And it gives you that nice lift at the top so do that and i'm going to come down and flip it back on itself and then i get this crazy little hairdo <laughs> and i'm going to bring it to bring it to the tip get my little curler as it's hot before it cools down and we're going to roll it up now you could do this in a row all across the top of your head but this is how i do my hair and I just get my little clip like that and hold it up out of the way. So this is what we're looking like, a little bit crazy, but now don't touch these curls, okay? You just wanna let them sit, let them cool. At this point, I might hit them with a little bit of hairspray as well. So I love the final net hairspray and I'm just going to leave it like that. Trust the process, okay? That's gonna be my mantra. <laughs> Now I'm going to start with my eyes and then I'm going to finish the rest of my complexion. Okay. Now when it comes to my eyes, I'm going to tell you what I'm using, but you can do this with any of your own eyeshadow palettes at home. You don't need to have exactly what I have. As long as the colors are similar, you can definitely get this look with what you've got. You don't need to spend any money to, to do this look. So if you have a palette like one of the Morphe palettes, I know they, they are great. They've got lots and lots of colors like this. This is basically the color tones that we're going to use. But, but I'm going to use my Anastasia Beverly Hills palettes. If you have any of those, they are, or if you're looking to invest in a eye palette, I highly recommend the Anastasia Be Beverly Hills eyeshadows because to me, they are the best. They stay on, they're incredible. I've got a few favorites and I'll show you as I go. Now, I did show you this in a haul recently. It is the Nov Novena palette. I've, I've got, honestly, I've got them all. So there's the Modern Renaissance modern renaissance palette the i love this one too the amrezi palette and the soft glam palette so i've got lots of them as you can see i've actually got an abundance of makeup being a makeup artist i do have that we start doing your eye, your eyes you just want to get your sponge and just make sure you get all of the foundation nice and smooth if anything's collected you want to get that out of the way so it's nice and smooth because we're going to set the base so all you need i'm going to use like a matte white or, or flesh color eyeshadow to set my whole eyelid so i'm just going to go into this with a flat brush now these brushes i've had for decades <laughs> even know what they what brand they are basically um morphe does great brushes but these are my professional brushes that i've had a very long time so forgive me that i don't know the names for these <laughs> now as you can see i've got quite hooded eye eyelids i didn't when i was much younger but now since i hit sort of 40 everything's starting to go a little bit lower and that's okay because we can cheat it and give and give me a nice socket back so i'm going to put that right across the whole lid right in the corner and flick it up over my eyebr eyebrows. So then I'm going to get a fluffy dome brush that looks like this. This is the Morphe brush. It doesn't say what it is. It came in the little Morphe set and I get that from Mecca. Now I'm going to go into a mid-tone matte brown color. If you've got this palette, it's called Incense. 
and I'm going to tap into there. I'm going to use it just above my eye socket here because I want to give the illusion that I have deep set eyes. So bring it into here and I go right into there and I bring it out. And then blend, blend, blend. <laughs> that is the secret to blend it. Now, as you can see the difference already, it's given my eye more of a contour. You can see the difference there. I love makeup so much and it really can just completely change your features. As, I mean, it's doing it right in front of your eyes. <laughs> Now for my eye shape, I don't bring in a lot of color underneath my eyes at all because as you can see, I've got quite a, I've got quite a round eye and the illusion I like to create is more of an arm and lifted eye. So I won't bring the color underneath my eyes. If you have smaller eyes and you want them to look larger, then you could at this stage bring that same color and connect it and bring it underneath. But I don't do that because when I do, I feel like it makes my eyes look too big and poppy and I don't like that look. Okay, so you have to do you have to do your makeup to suit your features. <laughs> but I'll teach you what I can. <laughs> so for the next little trick that I do, I'm going to use because I just love the colour of this one in here. So this is the Shane Dawson Jeffree Star Conspiracy palette. I know that you can't get this anymore, but any I'll show you the shade. It's sort of a browny gray shade, purpley shade, but it has shimmer in it. And I really like the way that it blends out and it's soft. You could use black, you could use a, a, a gray. You can do this matte if you prefer, but I like the shimmer. I like how it looks on my skin. Now you can use tape for this if you like. You can get some sticky tape. I recommend putting it across your hand first. That way to take some of the stickiness out and then take it off. And then you can place your sticky tape like this as well or if you've got an old credit card or card i just use a piece of paper <laughs> that's just what i do really like this technique to make it really clean and it's also quite a soft way to do some i um i suppose like eyeliner or eyeliner effect as i've gotten older i don't like liquid eyeliner anymore i never use that i just like a soft line but i want to create that same illusion of, as what that does Okay, so how I want it to go is that from the corner of my eye and I'm going to bring it out to the tip of my eyebrow. I'm going to dip into that color, into that, into that black. I'm going to close my eye and what I want to do is start right at the base of my lashes and make it quite dark there and then just very gently feather it up to the crease. Don't go any higher than where the crease color is. Okay, and I want to make it quite dark down by the lashes, like I said. And then I gently take that away. And then that gives, see how much it lifts up my eye? You can see from the other side, and it really starts to bring in that almond shape and up. <laughs> there you go, you can see it there. And I'm just going to do that. And you can see the difference on my eyes already. <laughs> Let me do the other side. Now see where it ends here? I'm just going to feather that very carefully just into the socket, just in the corner to about halfway. I don't add any more color on my brush because I just want it really soft, but I do want to bring that in and just to sort of soften everywhere, very blended and a very soft look. So you can see that there. Now I want to bring in the cut the same color right across into the corner of my eye because you could leave it like this if you like to have a bit of more of a doe eye but because I'm going to line the inside of my eye with black I want to bring this in to make it a, I want it a little bit more smoky because it's an event if this is enough for you just leave it like this it, it'll look really pretty just like this but what I'm going to do is get a little angled brush there we go so you can see it's a little angled brush like this and I'm going to dip it into that same shimmery, that same shimmery gray black color. And I'm going to now connect it from the inside of my eye, like, and right across and now match that into 
into where we started. So now you can see, see the difference? You can see the difference there. <laughs> so if you like more of a softer look, you can leave it and stop it at this point. But if you would like to, your eyes to look a bit more lined, or if you're going out in the evening, I recommend doing this because it really does highlight your eye shape. If it was me in the day, normally not an event, I would stop here on this side, but I do really like how this looks as well. Now, this is my favorite part. So I've got these gorgeous little eye toppers and like these are from Napoleon Purtis. They come like this. This is a very old one. I've had this for decades. <laughs> they last for a really, really long time. Now this one here is an iridescent white and I use this one and I use this one just in the corners of my eyes because you'll see the difference when I do it. This one is called Starlight and this is the one I use every day basically or when I'm not, whenever I go out anywhere, <laughs> which is rarely these days, but it's a beautiful soft champagne -y gold colour a little flat brush like this and I dip it in now you watch this magic <laughs> and I dip it in now you could leave it like this if you like a matte eye look leave it like this but for me I just need the shimmer especially for a party especially for Christmas and honestly I feel like it makes me my eyes look younger anyway so again I'm doing the cut crease with my shimmer so I'm just going to bring it a little bit into where the black is just to help. It just sort of helps blend it in as well. And I pat, I just sort of pat it in very gently because this dust can go everywhere. There we go like that. My little trick, even though this is beautiful, you can leave it just like that, but because I really want that pop in the corner of my eyes, small little brush like this. I'm going to dip that in and I'm just going to put that right just in the corner. Now you see that? It just gives that real pop and I think it's so flattering on your eyes just a small little amount now you could if you really like that really bright color you can use the white right across your eyelid and it just looks incredible I think it looks better for nighttime um, and I've done that and it looks gorgeous but for daytime I just like that little pop and you can see the difference and I want to line my the inside waterline of my eyes so this is the Kai liner in black it's so good honestly when you put this on off oh, it's so hard to get off, I have to say. If you want to have clean, fresh eyes the next day, it takes me about two days to get all of this off, especially when I put it inside the waterline. But it looks so good and it stays no matter what. I think you could even cry in it and it would still stay there. <laughs> I'm going to put that in the waterline and bring it right into the corner and inside my eyes. Sorry, I can't look down and do it. I need to look into the mirror. Okay, so I've done one eye. Now you can see the difference there which looks just crazy, isn't it? So this is a really nice soft look again, but if you want to step it up a notch or you're going out at night time, or if, if it's a special event like today is, I recommend doing this because it looks fantastic in photos. Unless you have really small eyes, then I would recommend using like a flesh tone or a white in the waterline and that will really open your eyes. But because I've got large eyes, I like the black. <laughs> You can also use like a bronzy color or gold, which looks really nice as well, or a brown, something a bit softer. That's a really good look too. I'm just gonna do my bottom lashes and the mascara first. So I love the lounge, this lounge face mascara, which is made by an Australian YouTuber, um, Lauren Curtis. She's fantastic. And this mascara is so good. It's, I love the way that it comes off basically. As soon as you get into the shower or when it gets wet, it kind of just crumbles off put it over my extensions and my lashes just to sort of bring it all together and just the bottom lashes. Basically I'll just get my beauty blender and just sort of soften everything and clean up under my eyes. And now I'm going to use some powders, a small amount of the Laura Mercier, Laura Mercier, I can never say, Laura Mercier translucent powder. And I just use a very, very small amount of powder. As you get older, 
it can be a little too cakey as much as you don't want it to go into your lines it's better to use less foundation and just a little bit of powder i think sometimes it can get too your skin looks crepey that's the word that i'm trying to remember <laughs> and i'll just sort of put my brush around and dust it and dust it in the cap so I've just got a small amount. Now, because I want to set my smile lines, I just sort of push it around my nose, down around my chin. Now, I don't mind if my forehead gets a little bit shiny because it looks more youthful. If you have a very oily skin, then I'd recommend setting your whole face. I really love the Physicians Formula bronzer, which this one here is the butter bronzer. It smells like coconut. It's really lovely, but it's more the color that I like. It's a softer color because I kind of do a bit of a, a bit of a gradient when it comes to my blush and bronzer. If I'm really tanned, I do like the Laguna bronzer from NARS. Sorry, it's so messy, but that's just reality. I really do love this blush, which is the Orgasm blush from NARS. I'm just going to get like a bit of a fluffy dome brush like this which is a real tex techniques brush sorry the name's gone they're too old i've had them for so long you want to keep everything high up on your cheekbones so really go like up under your eye don't bring it down here too much and don't bring it down here too much otherwise it drags your face down so we really want to keep it up high up around your eye just lift everything lifting now we're going to bring it up into the hairline the other place I'm going to do it is to just soften. I'm just going to set and soften also. Bring it down my neck and bring it even down onto your chest as well. Okay, because we really want to set the contour that we've done, but we also want to blend it in. It's going to really sort of set off that contour line. Remember my jaw beforehand? There was no jawline. <laughs> and now, voila, it's all done, but it's all with makeup. <laughs> Now, like I said, with my nose, as you can see, it's already quite thin. If I was to do the, the two stripes to contour my nose, I'd look like I had no nose. I'd look like Michael Jackson. <laughs> so I don't want to do that. So depending on your nose shape, but this is what I do. I like to, I like it to look like I've been sun-kissed, basically. So I want to, just above the tip, so I want to leave a little, the ball of my nose light because it gives you that cute little ball on the end of your nose and I like to put it across and just bring it down on both sides of my nose. Now this gives me a look, this gives me more of a sun-kissed look than a really snatched kind of Instagram nose. <laughs> That's what I like to call it. And it still left the tip of my nose highlighted it gives the illusion of a cute little lifted nose and then i'm just going to get my beauty blender and just tap it with whatever foundation is still left on there and that will kind of blend it all in i've done all of this with the bronzer and now i add in my concealer i know it's a bit crazy a lot of people like to do the bronzer and everything after but this is just what i do and i want to keep it real with you i use the tarte shape tape which is in light medium and I'm going to only use a very small amount of this in the areas that I need it. So with my eyes, I want to, basically with concealer, anywhere you put concealer, it's going to bring it forward. So in this little tear trough area, I want to bring that forward. And I'll adjust a little bit. I won't put lots and lots because you know what's going to happen. It's all just going to go into your, into your fine lines. And that's it. That's how much I use. Oh, there you go. I get the flat edge of my beauty blender and I'm going to, I just sort of pat it. <laughs> it's so funny, so hard to explain. I just sort of pat it in that area and then I bring it up and whatever's left on the sponge is enough and it will highlight and lift it up again. So I just start patting. And as I'm patting, I kind of move it down a little bit, up a little bit. And then I'm going to start bringing it and lifting it up. And that's going to be enough, as you can see. Now I'm going to do my blush. So what I like to do, I get a flat brush. See how it's flat like this? And on that, on the flat side, this today I'll use the NARS Orgasm Blush. 
but I also really like the NYX blushes as well. I love the Kylie bl blushes. There's a Kylie blush. This one is pink pink powder which is gorgeous if you want a matte blush this i highly recommend but today i want the sparkles so i'm going to use the nars blush but where i put my blush i want it high higher than normal because i want it to lift my face so i'm going to start placing it here which looks quite high it's going to be sort of it's going to sort of set my concealer as well because it's sparkly it's going to give me a highlight as well. How's, are you getting ready? Yeah. Ooh, it's so exciting. So I haven't even talked to you about what's happening yet. So my daughter's getting ready off camera. She didn't want to do it on camera, which is fair enough. Firstly, let me just say before I get too excited. <laughs> Basically, this is, what did you call it again? Ombre, ombre. <laughs> so I want to create an ombre effect. So I've got my contour, bronzer, and then now it's hitting up into the blush and it will also go into the highlight as well. So that way it gives you that really nice effect and gives your cheeks that lift. <laughs> so I've got to talk to you about what's happening today. I've been so focused because this is my first official makeup tutorial. Oh my God, I'm beyond excited. Okay. So my daughter and I are going to our very first brand event. We're going to the Petal and Pop event. I'm sure I've explained this to you at the start, but um, we're so excited. It's just, I'm sweating actually. I'm so excited when I think about it. I'm going to keep doing this as well as I talk because we're running out of time. <laughs> okay, so I have done my highlighter, but unfortunately I, it didn't record. Oh, I'm just too excited and nervous, I think. So basically what I've done, now that I've got that beautiful ombre effect with my cheeks, I now put on my highlighter and I've actually got it on already so you can kind of see. So what I'm going to do is talk you through it because I don't want to put too, too much on. I use the Becca Jaclyn Hill highlighter, which is not available anymore and I'm really, really sorry. I just haven't found another one that is just as vibrant as this one and I love it. You can see there crazy i get a fan brush this is actually a paintbrush that i got from a craft store and works really really well it's just a couple of dollars you don't want to put this right where your fine lines are so i just put a little bit down and i put it right on the high point of my what's it called of my che <laughs> cheekbone um so i put it right on the high point of my cheekbone with my finger i put a little tiny bit just on the tip of my nose and I also put it on my cupid's bow, as you can see there. My skin is a little bit crepey under my under eyes, so I'm going to tell you a little trick and tip. So what I like to do is use is use a setting spray. These are my two favourites. I've got the Fix Plus, <laughs> Fix Plus from Mac. And the only problem with this one, I love the formula of this, but it's the spray that I hate. It's just very spitty. <laughs> Sometimes it gets you perfectly and then half the time you've just got big droplets all over your face. So it can be a bit annoying, but the product itself is great. Or I use the, I love this one, the Continuous continuous Setting Mist from Morphe, which is a nice soft one. So I'm going to push my hair back now, get it right out of the way because you'll lose your curls. And we're going to gently set it like that. I really want to set the powder that is already under my eyes and making it that little bit crepey. And girls with dry skin understand what I'm talking about. What I do is on my beauty sponge, I spray it with the Fix Plus because this is so good. And then I just put it very carefully right where the crepiness is. And I just push down and very softly and let it go. Just basically tap very, very carefully because you don't want to move the makeup. And that will set it perfectly just let it dry let it do its thing if you've got very very dry skin and you find that you get a lot of crepiness when you're using makeup another little trick is using a beauty oil this is the morphe priming oil and it's fantastic what i do is the same kind of thing so i put one tiny one drop one drop is all you need you get your little beauty sponge tap it on and then again just put it right where the crepiness is it will set the makeup and then give it a really nice reflect as well but when you do it especially with the oil just tap so softly and, and release don't do this because it will just take your makeup off okay okay 
<laughs> I've done the Soul Lip Liner. I'm gonna use this Dior Lip Gloss, which is so gorgeous. It's got a real sort of blue undertone, which makes your teeth look really white. Number 686, and I love this. So, it's got a little brush there. And as you can see, that's really like lifted my face. <laughs> it makes my teeth look so white. That's why I really like it. And I think it looks really great on camera and on photos. And because we're going to an influencer event, it's going to be a lot of cameras and filming and that type of thing. So that's why I'm using this color. It would look fantastic with just like a nude lip and you're done. I'll do my hair first. <laughs> I'm still, I'm so nervous. I keep jumping ahead. I'm going to take out my roller like this <laughs> and I'm looking crazy. <laughs> I really want my hair to be va va boom, super big and voluminous because by the time I get there, it will drop and then it'll look perfect. How cute is my little Kmart robe? I love it. <laughs> if you can see me, I'm going to get my hairspray, turn my head upside down and shake it. I do this. I get my, I get my spray. And I do this. <laughs> And then I flip it. Now it's gonna look crazy. <laughs> it will look crazy, but this is what I do. And then we fiddle around with it and get it the way we like. So I've got a really wide tooth comb. Okay, I'm gonna get a little teasing brush and I'm just going to lift the roots and spray it in place. Because I can even get my comb and I just sort of gently kind of get where the curl is and then tease under the curl. It just sort of puffs it up. <laughs> Basically what I'm going for is that uh, Victoria's Secret look. Ta-da! We're done! We're ready to get dressed! <laughs> When I got out of the shower this morning, I put on this, which is the Palmer's Cocoa Butter Moisturizer, and make sure it is this one, okay? Because there's other ones that don't smell like this one. This one smells like chocolate. It is so, so nice. So as soon as I get out of the shower and my body's still a bit damp, I put this on and then I let it soak in. Then I've done my makeup and before I get fully dressed now, I'm going to use some body makeup. This is called the Bondi Sands Glow and it is a matte one day tan, they call it. It's an instant tan. Now you get this where all the self tanners are. Now this, if you have any veins, um, any veins, discoloration on your skin, freckles, um, and you know, just want to make your skin look like it is airbrushed, like your body to look like it's airbrushed, this is the stuff you need to use. So I spray this onto a tanning mitt and then I just buff it all over my skin. So I'll do it on any skin that is exposed. So my uh, so today it'll be on my arms and my legs and it'll just look, make it look perfect. So you'll see that in the upcoming rest of the video. Okay, let's get dressed. <laughs> so here is dress number one. Now I've got two different shoes on, I'm trying to decide. It's at the Watson's Bay Boutique Hotel and I had a look online and it looked, you know, sort of outdoorsy, casual, but you know, very nice vibes. I wasn't sure if I should wear the Valentinos, which are actual heels, or just be truly comfortable and wear little sandals, which are the Louis Vuitton ones. So this is more of like a t-shirt dress. It's got the ruching around the tummy, which I really like, and a little split there, which I just think black's always good and always photographs well as well. So this is the first option. Okay, so this is the second option. And so far, my husband and my daughter love this one better. And this is the Franklin dress. It's so cute. It's got a little split and the sweetheart neckline. I just wish it was lined. It's not lined, so it doesn't make it really smooth. But, you know, I've got a tummy. It's fine. <laughs> okay, one more to go. And then there is this navy linen dress, which is also in the hall as well. Um, which is really lovely. It's got the ruching here, but I think with the length, hmm, I think I might like number two as well. I'm just going to show my husband and see what he thinks. <laughs> okay. No. Nah. Number two? No. Yeah. Okay. 
I love that he tells me like it is. <laughs> so this is what I'm wearing. We've decided to go with the Franklin, which was my original um, plan. And it feels really nice. So it's covering all the bits that I feel like it needs to cover. Really wish I had some skims now. I was going to buy them a couple of weeks ago and then they sold out. <laughs> Cause that I think would just be great. Cause there's no lining in this dress, um, but I like it. I think we're good to go. Just waiting on my daughter now. So here's the makeup done. I think it looks really nice. It's, you know, it's full on makeup, but it also looks it also looks really youthful as well. I'm going to wear these little earrings that I got from um, what I got from Amazon Australia as well. I'll link these for you. And yeah, we're getting ready to go. I'm just waiting for my daughter. Okay, so the place looks like a bomb's hit it, <laughs> but we are ready to go. My daughter looks absolutely gorgeous in this dress. She's got her platform sneakers on. I mean, she's 15, so we're not wearing heels, are we, darling? We just want to be nice and comfortable, but she's got beautiful pearls and the navy and the white go so well together. You can hear Teddy being naughty, but we are ready to go. <laughs> I just had to show you how we're driving down <laughs> my dress. The dress does crease quite easily, so I didn't want it to be all crease when I walked in. So I've got my robe on and I've actually got my dress hanging up in front of me. <laughs> and I'll put it on when we get there. <laughs> the things we do. <laughs> so we're stuck in the car in the bit of traffic, but how are you feeling? Nervous. We're a bit nervous. Both of us are a bit nervous. I just told her nothing we're nervous about. We're going to go have a great time, meet some lovely people and we're going to celebrate your birthday. <laughs> and the main thing is it's just you and me together. Yeah, it's going to be fine. So we've just arrived and we're about to go in. Let's go. We've got the pink carpet. Hello. So she got some fairy floss <laughs> and I've got a April spritz and look at the view and we met the beautiful Emma who invited us and I love her so much she is the one that found me and asked us to come and has worked with me and I just appreciate you so much Emma and you are so gorgeous isn't she beautiful yeah. such a sweetheart we love you <laughs> and um, we're just gonna hang here it's for two little introverts, it's quite intense, isn't it, darling? Like, we were, we were a little overwhelmed in there. <laughs> um, you know, and there's a real mix of ages, which is great. I thought I was going to walk in and be the oldest lady in the room, but I think that I was, you know, I don't think I was too bad. <laughs> there was all ages and lots of beautiful influences and for something that, you know, we're so new at, it was, it was great. But definitely a little bit overwhelming. But we're going to kick back here in our little seats here. We're out of the room now. The room's just up there. So you can see it. They're just up there. But we're just going to sit out here and have a little breather it because it's, it's quite hot up there as well. Um, but yeah, we're just going to chill out. And then hubby and my little and my son is going to come and get us. And then we're going to go home. And it takes us about two hours to get home. Yeah. <laughs> but did you have fun? Yeah. So we're on our way home and we had to stop to get some pepperoni pizza. How good is it kids? Good. Yummy. I've got a great big haul for you guys. 
And I'm also really grateful that Pedal and Pup has reached out to me to work with them again and I've got an amazing discount code for you and some really gorgeous pieces to show you for the upcoming party season. What I'm going to do is the same as what we did in the last haul is for the Pedal and Pup items I'm going to do a what I ordered versus what I got side by side comparison. I'm so grateful that Pedal and Pup has given all of you guys an amazing discount code of 20% off. So it's AWLS20, I'll have it here, so just think Australian Women's Life and Style 20 for 20% 20 off. You can use that code on full priced items and sale items as well. I'll have the Pedal and Pop website and all of the items in the description box linked for you and also the, and also the discount code. And Let's get into it. The first item I'm going to show you is this gorgeous jumpsuit. I just thought this is so pretty and you could definitely dress it up or dress it down. So let's get into it. This is the Ceci jumpsuit in white for $99 and with my discount code it will bring it down to a nice price. It is a wide leg jumpsuit. It is partially lined as well so there's no see-through to it. It's such a beautiful summer piece and I loved it with the black details of the accessories as well. I love the little frill and off the shoulder. You could put it on one shoulder if you like. It's, you can definitely have it without any shoulders as well. This is my other favourite dress, the Ethan Ruched Side Midi Dress. I love that it's like a tea, cap little t-shirt style with the ruching around the waist and I love the little split detail as well. It's just the perfect black dress in my opinion. I love this dress. I'll be wearing this a lot. I love the high neck as well. Very flattering. And I just wanted to show you this gorgeous little necklace. I love the rope detail of the chain. And then it's got this really cute little pendant. You can see there. This is 18 karat gold plated. And I just wanted to show you that. And I will wear this uh, throughout the video. A really lovely gift. So I just wanted to show you what the necklace looked like on. I just love the little rope detail there. And it's just a cute little design. <laughs> then we have the Addy Midi dress for $109. This is just the perfect JLo style dress. It's so flowy. It's got this gorgeous chiffon layer that goes over the top with this chiffon sleeves. It's got a beautiful cutout detail, which goes around the back as well. And with a deep V-neck neckline, but I love it. This is the Tahari jumpsuit, which is $139. This is just another fantastic piece. I love the split in the leg. It is a wide leg jumpsuit again, and again, strapless. It's just very classic. It looks so beautiful. Also comes in a pink color too, I believe, but I really like it in the black. I think I'll get a lot of wear out of this over time. Then we have the Chloe cutout dress for $99. This was a massive favorite over on Instagram. My daughter wore this dress to the event. It's so beautiful, looks so gorgeous on, really flattering. It is a linen style material as well. Just love the split, love the little cutout, the puff sleeves. It's very, very flattering. Makes your waist look really small. And there's a little necklace there as well. Just beautiful. This is the Issa Maxi dress for $109. Now, I did think that this was going to be a cotton, but it isn't. Um, it's more of a sort of a silky material. Really beautiful, very flowy, as you can see here. It's just gorgeous. I love the sort of tease to it. Very flattering. It's got the shirt style neckline. And then the cute little um, ruffle around the, the sleeves there is just beautiful. But the colors and the pattern is just divine. Then this is the dress that I wore to the event. It's the Franklin dress. Now this is just another epic little black dress. I will keep this in my wardrobe for a very long time to come. It's got the perfect little puff sleeves, the sweetheart neckline. I love this split. It's just like the perfect date night dress. I felt so lovely in this dress. Um, honestly, I think it's a hands down winner. 
This is the Lizzie dress for $92. This one I just popped in because I wanted a bit of a casual option for you guys. I think it's perfect for summertime. This is the type of dress you throw on and run out the door. You can wear it with little sandals like I have here or sneakers. Perfect for down at the beach. Um, it's just really beautiful. It is also uh, has a lining as well, but it's very comfortable. Kind of a linen feel Thank material you so much as well. I hope that you guys enjoyed seeing the haul, because we did the haul as well in this video. And don't forget my code as well. Don't forget the code AWLS20 to get 20% off. And I hope that you guys really like the outfits. We love the dresses that we wore today, hey, they're our favourites. So I'll put all of those in the haul video. This is just a very quick message before the video starts. Thank you so much for all your support through 2022. It's just, you guys have made my year and we are so grateful for all your precious time that you spend with us. We hope that you have the most amazing Christmas. I hope that you're blessed and that you have a magical time with your families and we look forward to seeing you next year. Love you, bye. <laughs> oh, quickly Teddy, you better come over here. You better say goodbye to your girlfriends, quick, quick. So Teddy says goodbye to thank you so much for spending your precious time with us and we wish you a very Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! <laughs> Please also join me over on my Instagram, Australian Women's Life and Style. I have links over there on everything that I do on YouTube and I also notify you when I'm putting up a new video and what type of video. Um, I cover fashion, shopping, food, travel, everything. Everything that I do here, I do over there as well. So I'd love you to join me there. You can also start a save file and anything that you see um, that you like, you can save it in your file and when you go to the shops and you've got it all there for yourself. But yeah, I'd love you to join me, Australian Women's Life and Style. I'm also over on TikTok as well under Australian Women's L-I-F-S-T-Y-L-E. -E. So Australian Women's Life Style. <laughs>I look like um, something about Mary. <laughs> oh my goodness, I've just realised, I think I'm just so excited and nervous that I started doing, I just did my highlighter and everything and I didn't press record. Oh my goodness, I'm so frustrated. So I'm going to do it again. Bear with me. <laughs> so grateful that Pedal and Pup is working, um, I'm so grateful that Pedal and Pup has given me another discount code for you. I, Sorry, my toes are killing me. <laughs> I'll have everything. I'll have everything to. Um, I'll have everything for you. Link. Uh, what's the word? Come here. <laughs> I can't believe I can't think of the word. Like a gradient. Um. What's the word? What's the word when you want? Like you sort of. It goes from different colors. And they feather up together. Not gradient. Uh, blending. Fading. No. When it goes from, like, say, light, a dark colour up into a light, fades up into a light colour. Ombre? Ombre. Thank you. It is, oh, actually, different colour. So I've got so many of them. No, that's not the one. Where's it going? I hit. No. Can't find it. Hang on one sec. <laughs> you just want to enhance your natural beauty. You just want to end that. <laughs> Go get my words out. <laughs> I just. And here are the Polaroids of us before we left. <laughs> We've got these memories forever. I'm so happy. We had such a wonderful time. Thank you, Pedal and Pup, for inviting us. It was such an experience for our first ever brand event, and we are so grateful that it was with you guys. Thank you so much for having us. We'll never ever forget it. But love you guys lots. And thank you so much for spending your precious time with us today. Bye. Ah! <laughs> I'm getting wind blown. <laughs> oh my God. Join our family. Please like and subscribe. <laughs> Join our waffles. One, two, three. Join our family. Please like and subscribe.